the class. So at this point we have concluded the first three exercises. Now we're looking at the examples for exercise 7.4. It's on page 200 then. 33. Okay. So we're looking at further reduction formulae. The function values of 90 degrees plus and minus theta, plus or minus theta. And this is also on page 230. So at this point, you guys have watched last year's video, and all the trigonometry will be done like this. You're going to first watch last year's video, do it, and then I'll come again and explain, okay? So that we can just eliminate the misunderstandings of whatever you have from watching the video, okay? So, Use your calculator to determine the values of the trigonometric functions given in the following table. So let's go here. We're going to say sine of 30. So you go sine 30 gives us, whoops, sine 30 gives us a half. Then we go sine of 5 degrees. Sine 5 gave us 0, comma. Is that correct? 0, 0, 0,08 7 sine of 20 sine of 20 0, 0,342 sine of cos of 80 is us 0, 0,174 cos of 72 0, 0, no, 0, 3, 0, no, not so. Go on this side, you've got cos of 60, get the half, then you see sine of cos of 735, 0, 0, 87, cos of 70, it was 0, 3, 4, 2, sine of 10, 0, 174, and then sine of 18, 0, 0, sorry, 0, 3, 9, um, 0, 9. People, what do we notice? Say the same. However, there's a relationship that is happening between these two. What do you notice? You take 30 plus 60. 90. 5 plus 85. 90. 20 plus 70. 90. And all of this gives you 90 degrees. So if I take the first one into account, <coughs> number one, then this is going to be sine of 30 which is the same as sine of 90 minus 60. Not so. 90 minus 60 is plus 30. Which is the same as cos 6. Uh, yeah, 6. Not so. Let's look at number 2. So this is going to be sine of 5 degrees. Sine of 5 degrees is equal to sine of 90 minus 85, which is the same as cos of. Do you see that, people? So we have, in the third case, we have sine of 20 is the same as sine of 90 minus 20, uh, 99 is 80. Remember that 1970. I can't put 20 here because a 90 minus 20 is not 20. Mm -hmm. You see a 90 minus 85 is 5, 90 minus 60 is 30, 90 minus 70 is 20. Can you see that? Yes. Which is going to give us? Cos of 70. Cos of 70. Now what if I put the spell in the works and I say, okay, you got sine of theta. What would that be? Sine of 
90 minus theta, which is also equal to? Uh, uh, you see now, 90 minus theta is not theta. So what does that mean? Does that have to change to? So let's check if it works. Let's say theta is 30. Sine of 30 is equal to cos of 90 minus 30. Remember theta is now 30. And what's 90 minus 30 is? Is that the case? Yes. Can you see that, people? So just remember that sine of theta is also equal to ni cos 90 minus theta. Got a question? So let's look at number 4. So here we have cos of 80. Cos of 80 is the same as cos of? 90 minus 10, which is the same as? Sine of, sine of 10. Not so? Yes. Let's look at the next one. Number 5, we have cos of 72, which is the same as cos of? 90 minus 18, which is the same as? Sine of 18. So what does that now mean? That means to say that cos of theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. Now I want you guys to make a note of that thing, that cos of theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta, and cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. And this is what we call the co-ratio or co-function of Sine becomes cos, cos becomes sine. Okay? Alright, so we're now moving to the next page. Notice that the value of the ratios in any lines are equal. Um, uh, note also that the pairs of angles in each line adds up to 90 degrees. We spoke about that. This investigation leads to us to guess that sine of 90 minus theta is equal to cos of theta. That's what we just noted now. And cos of 90 minus theta is equal to sine of theta. Okay. A similar investigation would yield a further two results, namely that cos of 90 plus theta is uh, cos sine of 90 plus theta is cos of theta and cos of 90 plus theta is minus sine of theta. So for those of you who are not convinced, you guys can go through this here. Okay? We just don't have time and the balance is learning soon and I don't want to keep you here because you guys are getting another period now. Okay. And uh, Lisa Kanya already indicated that English is more important than maths. Okay, I feel cheated on my call. Right. Then we are told the ratio sign or sin and cosine, which is cos, are called co ratios or co functions. And we must say that earlier on. Co ratios, co functions. Proof of these conjectures follows, right? There we go. Um, we just don't have time for this. Uh, but if you are that kind of girl that wants to know everything and who's the daddy, there we go. Do those things there. Okay. Something what they also indicated here was, and I'll need you to make a note of this as well, is that if that is 90 degrees, if you've got sine of 90 minus theta, you all agree it's in, in the first quadrant. So this is sine, remember that's 90. Sine 90 minus theta is in this quadrant, no? Is sine positive, is sine positive negative in the first quadrant? Positive, but changes to cos theta. So if you've got cos 90 minus theta, is cos positive or negative in the first quadrant? Positive, but changes to positive? Sine theta. Can you see? Sine changes to cos, cos changes to sine. Let's go in this quadrant here. Okay. Pull this down a bit. So we're going in this quadrant, people. This is going to be sine, 90. In that direction, do we add or subtract? We add. 90 plus theta is going to give you a sine positive and negative in this quadrant. Sine, sine positive and negative here. 
positive. So it's sine 90 plus theta is positive. What should I just do? Cos of even though cos is negative here. But the original one is sine, which is positive, will result in a positive. Can you see that people? And this one is the one that confuses everybody. If you got cos of 90 plus theta, 90 plus in this quadrant. Now, is cos positive or negative in this quadrant? Negative. Even though it changes to sine, which is positive. You see that? Although it changes to sine, cos is negative. So it's negative sine. What? Yes, I can show you why. Let's choose any value. Let's choose any value between 90 and 180. And nice. So let's go. Cos 100. Cos 100 is negative. So cos 100 is negative uh, 0.173. So I'm saying it's going to be the same as negative sine of the complement of 90. We take 90 away from that, which is going to be 10 degrees. Not so? So it's negative sine 10. Same answer. Can you see that? So remember, cos of 90 plus theta. Cos is negative in this quadrant. So it must be negative, and then changes to sine. Cos changes to sine, sine changes to cos. That only happens when we busy with 90 plus or 90 minus, or later on you'll see 270 plus or 270 minus. In this textbook, it doesn't deal with 270. Okay, but later on in your, exam, in your past papers, you'll see 270 comes up. Okay. So again, 90 and, and, and 270 will form co-ratios. Okay. Or co-functions. Note that if it's acute, then the angle 90 minus terminates in quadrant 1, 90 plus in quadrant 2. And the signs of the cost diagram applies to all of these ratios in these reduction for me. Right. Example one. An example one is on page uh, 231. 231. Okay. People something to note at this point that you can write this like, uh, you can write this down. When dealing with a reduction formula, focus on the following questions. In which quadrant does the angle lie? That's the first one you write down. When dealing with a reduction formula, focus on the following questions. Number one. In which quadrant does the angle lie? Number two. What is the sign of this ratio in this quadrant? That's when I go with that cost diagram. No? All stations to clear one. Store it. Does the ratio change or remain the same? When would the ratio change? When would sign change to cost and cost change to sign? 90 plus or minus. That's the only time it changes, no? Or 270 plus or minus. Okay. Right, so let's look at the first one. I feel like I'm moving too fast, you guys. Yes. But yeah, it didn't sound like you didn't watch a video. No? Am I right? Yes. Now let's just do these examples quickly. So, let's draw. So it's all stations to clear This is 180, that is 90. Not so. 360, 0, and 270. Right. Hey, 90 minus in which quadrant? 90 minus? 1. Is sign positive or negative? Positive. But change is 2? Why must it change? We basically got 90. Not so. Light B. Three, uh, 10, 360 minus alpha. Which part is that in? Four. Four. You stand positive or negative? Negative. negative. But changes too? Does it change? No. No. The remains stand up? Alpha. When does it change? 19 to 7. Let's look at C. <coughs> 90 plus. Which part is that in? 90 plus, quadrant 2. Is cos positive or negative in quadrant 2? Negative. negative. But changes to? Sine. Sine. Okay. Even though it changes to sine, then sine is positive. But the original ratio 
was cos and cos was negative. All right, let's just look at uh, number uh, This is number two. Right. Let's look at A. This is two. Which page are we on? Two thirty one. Sorry? Two thirty two. Okay. People, let's look at the first one. Cos of 90 minus alpha, which quadrant is that in? 90 minus theta. Quadrant 1. Is cos positive or negative? What changes to? Sine theta. Over. 180 plus, which quadrant is that in? Quadrant 3. Is sine positive or negative? Negative. What changes to? Sine. The remaining sine. Nice. When does it change? 90 and 270. Positive divided by negative? Negative. Sine theta cancel, sine theta will be what? Is look at B. Ninety plus, which one is that in? Two. two. Sine positive or negative? Positive. But change is two? Cos. Why must it change? Ninety. Ninety. Even co though cos is negative here. But because the original was sine, that's why it is positive. 360 minus which part is that in? 4. Does it change? No. The remains? Yeah. Is that positive or negative? Negative. negative. So you make sure you make a times there. It's a negative 10. What's positive times negative? Negative. negative. Cos alpha times. But 10 can be written as? Sine over 5. Yeah, how beautiful these sums are. And this is actually over? 1. Cos got into cos ones, cos ones. Give you a negative. All right. Let's quickly. Okay, so um, what do you guys get now? Because it's okay, it's very important. I'll uh, do the uh, complete the recording in the next lesson. For our work, listen to hang on. Okay, so um, we'll see. Okay, where do we start? We start again by drawing the cost diagram. There's all stations to claim on. Okay, done. 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay. So we see. Sine squared 90 minus x. Which part is that in? 90 minus second, uh, first quadrant. Sine positive or negative? Positive. But sine changes to cos because of a 90. So the co-ratio of uh, sine is cos. So it's cos x or cos squared x. Okay? Plus. Now sine 360 minus x. The 360 minus x takes you to quadrant 4. Is sine positive or negative in quadrant 4? Sine is positive. So, sine is negative. So, because of the square, it will remain positive. Okay, and remember that, that is sine 360 minus x times sine of 360 minus x which is negative sine x, which is in the fourth quadrant, times negative sine x, which is positive sine squared x. I think I explained it in the previous lesson as well. Okay? Because of a square, we will never get a negative. Alright, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to say sine of 360 minus x takes to the fourth quadrant. Sine is negative, but because of the square, it remains positive. So it's sine squared. Remember the fundamental identity, which is tan of theta is equal to sine of theta over cos of theta, as well as sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1.
So as you can see, sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So the answer is 1. Okay. Last one, D. Example 2 on page 232. We are given cos squared 180 minus beta. So 180 minus beta is in this quadrant. Is cos positive and negative in the second quadrant? Remember quadrant 1, 2, and 3. And 4. So in the second quadrant, cos is negative, but because of the square, it will remain positive. So it's co positive cos squared beta. Did I need to change this to sine? No. Why? Because why? We have 180 minus beta and not 90. Okay? It will, uh, your your co-function for cos will change to sine only for 90 plus or minus to 70 plus or minus. Okay? So that is all over. If you look here, sine of 90 minus beta. Which quadrant is that? 90 minus first quadrant. Is sine positive or negative? Positive. But because of the 90, so sine changes to scovulatio, which is cos beta. When does it change? The reduction is 90 plus or minus, 270 plus or minus. This must be multiplied by 180 plus. And remember that is in quadrant 3. Is tan positive or negative in the, in the third quadrant? Tan is positive. Does this change? No. Because of 180. Only change for 90 and 270. That's going to be tan of beta. So hang on. Tan of beta can be written as sine of a cos. So it's cos squared beta over cos beta times sine beta over cos beta. So what happens now is cos goes into cos once, cancel one of those causes. Remember that cos squared beta is cos beta times cos beta. Okay. So that cancels with one of those causes, leave you with the other cause beta. And cos beta cancels cos beta. Just give me the answer. Sine beta. Okay. So with that, you should be able to do exercise 7.4. The full lesson will be found in the description box below. Okay.